The Supreme Court has today abolished the mandatory death sentence, terming it unconstitutional. In a ruling delivered by Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu and Justices Njokin Dongo and Jackton Ojuang, the Supreme Court said Section 204 of the Penal Code was contradictory to the Constitution and quite discriminatory. For more than two hours, two murder convicts, Wilson Therimbu Mwangi and Francis Karoki Muruatetu, sat expectantly in the Supreme Court waiting for the determination of their petition that first appeared in the corridors of justice about three years ago. The two, sentenced by the High Court for murder, wanted the Supreme Court to abolish the mandatory sentence. They argued that no court would have independently handed them the penalty, which they said Kenya borrowed from our colonial master Britain before it was adopted by Parliament. In their submission through their lawyers, they argued their sentencing was not a judicial evaluation, but a predetermined penalty based on Section 204 of the Penal Code. That the mandatory death penalty under Section 204 of the Penal Code violated that right in that it denied the trial judge the discretion in sentencing. Supreme Court Judges Njokin Dungu, Jackton Ojuang, and Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu had to look at Section 204 of the Penal Code and determine whether it was in tandem with Articles 19, 20, 38, and 48 of the Constitution, which talk about justice for all, human dignity, fundamental rights, and equality of law to all, alongside Article 52 of the Constitution. Section 204 of the Penal Code deprives the court of the use of judicial discretion in a matter of life and death. Such law can only be regarded as harsh, unjust, and unfair. The mandatory nature deprives the court of their legitimate jurisdiction to exercise discretion, not to impose a death sentence in appropriate cases. The two convicts have been in custody since 2003, and in their petition, they wanted the Supreme Court to declare the mandatory death sentence unconstitutional. Lady Justice Njokin Dung observed that Section 204 of the Penal Code is in violation of the Progressive Bill of Rights that is the focal point of Kenya's law. With Justice Jackton Ojuang observing that the text of the Penal Code 204 makes death penalty mandatory. In her orders, Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu declared Section 204 of the Penal Code unconstitutional, but clarified that the ruling would only affect cases relating to the nature of the petition and any other cases falling within the same parameters. The mandatory nature of the death sentence as provided under Section 204 of the Penal Code is hereby declared unconstitutional. For the avoidance of doubt, this order does not disturb the validity of the death sentence as contemplated under Article 26, Sub-Article 3 of our Constitution. Specific orders were, however, given to the Attorney General and Director of Public Prosecution to initiate an immediate process to review and create new laws in the Penal Code. We direct that this judgment be placed before the Speakers of the National Assembly and the Senate, the Attorney General and the Kenya Law Reform Commission, attended with a signal of the utmost urgency for any necessary amendments formulation and enactment of statute law to give effect to this judgment on the mandatory nature of the death sentence and the parameters of what ought constitutes life imprisonment. The ruling by the Supreme Court makes Kenya the latest country in the world to abolish mandatory death penalty. The determination by the Supreme Court that the mandatory death sentence is unconstitutional is by all standards a new dawn in Kenya's criminal justice system. And although this is a big win for the petitioners who have been serving death sentence at committee maximum prison, they will have to wait longer to see their freedom after their case was referred back to the High Court for a trial. Shadrach Miti, KT News at the Supreme Court.